Good day, fellow investors. Welcome to the anti-stock market news. Well, on my analytics, I see what videos and what channels you watch. And I've seen that you watch these channels mostly. And then I really wanted to start something opposite because when I look at all that stock market news, it's all focused so much on the short term and uh, there is no value in discussing it. This was really on Wednesday. So now very bad ultra hot inflation print sends markets reeling away. And then if you look at the markets, yes, those did go down a little bit 1% but then after a few hours those were already back at zero even positive and then the next day all hell broke loose but then again after a day we are here so from the news here till now when I'm filming this Friday morning okay down 77 per basis points but that's really nothing and all those channels everyone went and discussed 9.1 9.1 this will happen this will happen I didn't listen to these videos please share in the comments what each one of these individuals said to see okay whether there is some fundamental logic behind that or it's just mumbo jumbo news because even others Alarian retweeted tough times ahead from now so just now the inflation surge signals tough times ahead that's may be wrong as I will discuss later. Then also Alarian rates are well off highs as traders leaned to price in a recession over inflation. The 10 year treasury yield is back to where it was before the CPI down one basis point. One basis points my friends is one of 100. So it was 296 now it's 295. This was 3.04 now it's 3.0 nine huge news enough for a tweet so this was the news but how relevant is this news and any other piece of sh news that comes out for your long-term investing let's now discuss the crazy obsession with numbers because inflation was 9.1 if it had been 8.4 9.6 8.7 7.3 10.1 8.2 would it matter would it be such a difference there is inflation there isn't inflation there is deflation minus five two or nine okay that makes a difference but 9.1 8.1 8.4 blah blah blue blah 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 i don't know it's like anal retention or something that's the quality of this news so much bombarding that it simply constipates every mind therefore you have to be very very careful there for example again from bloomberg treasuries six basis points one basis points that's one of 100 so this was 115 now 116 or whatever really really irrelevant so i don't know what they discussed but again let me know in the comments however i can tell you that it is completely the wrong obsession to focus focus on small number changes as we'll discuss later the real fundamentals and that's why I really want to do the anti-news on this channel from now on because if we look at the real fundamentals those are pretty simple this is the US government but it's most likely the same with all other governments so they have to borrow 18% of their spending for 2022 so this is a government that will borrow 80% of their spending. It is like you go there and borrow how much? Three months, I don't know, two months out of your life just to live this year. And then that's just expected to continue forever. Deficits are expected to be around four or five percent. And then when Medicare kicks in in 2030 and obligations kick in, deficits are expected to be at six percent forever, forever. And then also including great expectations. So real GDP growth stable forever a little bit lower of course but stable forever treasury is low so that the government can borrow and spend 
forever, inflation low, unemployment low, so no more shocks, no more recessions, nothing, never more. So everything pretty beautiful and under the assumption that the government will be able to borrow forever indefinitely. So these are the fundamentals and the fundamentals tell you that it is pretty weak because you need to borrow into eternity and therefore this is not important. Inflation to 9.1, okay. No, why the headline isn't, guys, our deficits will be 4% for the next six years and then continuing. That is reality versus just clogging, clobbering your mind. Be careful with that. So when you hear any piece of news information, there are thousand pieces of information, but the media will always focus on the key point that everybody talks about. Because if I now start talking about something that's irrelevant, I don't know, 30 trillion of Medicare costs that will come due from 2030 to 2050, and then nobody cares now about paying, and that's boring, that's irrelevant. We want now, we want action now. I cannot think what will happen on Monday. Now it's what Saturday. I need to trade some bitcoins now. Wrong focus my friends. And let me show you how these things are completely irrelevant for your investing. I just went three years backward 2019 and let's look at the news from then. So there was a gulf storm that was the key. German bonds yield, climb, emerging market shares decline, treasuries rise in this case. So very interesting. And this was the S&P 500 and the news was the S&P closed above 3000 points for the first time. Can you imagine that 3000 points here? Everything was great. Now 3000 points would be crazy. It would be another 20% down and everybody would panic. So just three years ago in 19 here, July, everyone was, oh, first time in history, 3000 points. And now if it goes to 3000 points, now it would be a disaster because, because of the pump of money here. So again, look at how perspectives change and also news change into perspective. And this is very interesting. The rally in risk assets is continuing to benefit from Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell dovish comments this week. Even after strong inflation, they were going to continue lowering rates and everything. Crazy, crazy how things work treasuries were at 2% back then, so barrel at 60 and gold was at 1,400. So next year we'll probably be talking about something completely different, so I don't know. It is entertaining, it gets clicks, it gets this, it gets this, but it's really irrelevant for the long-term picture. Don't be tricked by the news. So the best news is that nobody knows what the world will look like a year from now, five years, 10 years, I just know that the world 15 years from now will be pretty different than it is now. So that's life, that's investing and invest in a way that you're ready for anything. These are the real news, these are the situations and then even if you see these assumptions you know these are not good. So maybe a recession will come 2023, maybe in 2027, maybe deficits will be much higher due to some shocks, maybe there will be higher inflation, lower inflation, maybe people will panic, they will need to borrow more, interest rates will go higher, nobody knows, nobody knows. You know that the situation is what what it is and then whatever happens you have to be ready to invest properly that's it if you enjoy the anti news smash that like button subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in the next video